Change can be hard. We can't always control what's going on around us. Sometimes things that happen in our lives can be tough or make us feel nervous. Like moving to a new city, starting a new school, or trying out for the spring musical and not knowing if you'll make it. We don't have control over how things will turn out, but we can have courage knowing that God controls the future. But that can be easier to say than do. I really want to be brave when I'm unsure of what's going to happen next, but sometimes I forget that God can keep me secure. And when I feel insecure, I look in the Bible. The Bible is God's true message to us about Himself, and it's full of true stories about people who didn't know what their futures would hold. Let's read what happened in chapter 16 of the book of Acts. There are two men stuck in a situation that they never could have gotten out of by themselves. They had no idea if they would even have a future, but they chose to react in a way you might not expect. Let's read it together. Paul and Silas in prison, Acts 16, 16 through 40. Paul and Silas traveled to many places, teaching people that Jesus was God's son. One day, while they were on their way to pray, Paul healed a slave girl. Her owners were very angry and dragged Paul and Silas into the marketplace to the authorities. They were taken to the city leaders, and the slave girl's owners claimed Paul and Silas had disturbed the city. A crowd joined the men and attacked Paul and Silas. They ordered the guards to strip off their robes, and they were beaten with rods. After they had been beaten, Paul and Silas were thrown into prison, and the jailer was ordered to guard them carefully. They were put in the inner prison, and their feet were secured in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners listened to them. That's amazing! Paul and Silas loved God so much that even when they were locked up in a prison, they still prayed and sang to God. God had an amazing plan for their future. Let's see what it is. Suddenly, a violent earthquake shook the whole jail. Immediately, all the doors were opened and everyone's chains came loose. The jailer woke up and saw that all the prison doors were opened and that everyone's chains had come loose. The jailer was afraid because he thought all the prisoners had escaped. Paul called out in a loud voice, We are all here! The jailer called for lights to be brought in, ran in and fell down in front of Paul and Silas. He asked, What should I do to be saved? They told him, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Even though it was late at night, the jailer took them home and washed their wounds. Paul and Silas taught the good news of Jesus to everyone in the jailer's home. And right away, he and everyone in his family were baptized. The jailer gave food to Paul and Silas, and he celebrated because he had come to believe in God with his entire family. This true story of Paul and Silas can give us hope. Even when Paul and Silas were in the worst place possible and completely uncertain about their future, they chose to trust God by talking to him and singing songs to him. And in the middle of their scary, unknown future, God was there. He had a plan for them and even used their lives to help other people see how powerful he is. When I see how God was with Paul and Silas, I know that I can trust him when my future seems out of control. God knows where we are, where we've been, and where we're going. And He loves to use our lives to help other people get to know Him. Your future is secure when you follow God because He made a way for you to spend forever with Him in heaven. God sent His Son, Jesus, to take the punishment that you deserve for your sin. Sin is when you choose to do what you think is best instead of what God says is best. There is a punishment for sin that you deserve, but Jesus never sinned and He took that punishment for you. And when you tell God that you are sorry for choosing your way instead of His way, and that you want to follow Him, He secures your future. God is unshakable. Even if you don't know what is coming up next, you can trust God and be secure because He has a plan for your future.